idiot. Should we do an all dog tape nipple episode? Like, I made my kid touch fake balls. I was like, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Strubbing Buck Look. I'm your host for the week, Ron Lynch. These are my lovely co hosts. We have the lovely this lady, Missy Davis. And the sexy this lady, Ariana. And this is a podcast about beer. Craft beer. Craft beer. Obviously. And uh, let's see, this week we'll be reviewing. This stuff, Strawberry Sky, it says 19.2. We got excited, but it's not 19.2 proof, it's ounces. Uh, we have also this gumball head. And what is the correct term for the mystery beer, Ariana? The mysterious beer. What did he call that last week? I was mystery. trying to mystery. <laughs> the mysterious various. <laughs> it's this. Mysterious various. It's this shit right here. I wanted to get that in the, uh, the free clip, but... I tried to hijack my term. <laughs> mystery like, business. You can't have my... <laughs> you, you know what? I'm not going to hijack your term. I am going to make a point to get it right this time, though. There we go. Okay. Mystery mystery. What the fuck is wrong? What does that mean? <laughs> so, um, Ariana, fin- fin- finish what you got. Um, She's drinking morning. one of my home brews. So we had our pre-game beers. So we can act nice and stupid. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, um... Did we rinse the rest of the glasses out? Uh, I rinsed yours out, and she Wait. was still drinking. Awesome. Because I'm like a, a good little man servant or something. Rinse. Hey, excellent. Okay, so uh, let's start this <laughs> off right because um, it is balls hot today. It we, is. We definitely need some liquid hot. because it is fucking hot. We're going to take and crack the tall boy first. It's like 80 yeah. degrees in here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the, it is Strawberry Sky, and it is at the uh, Brickenridge Brewery from uh, Colorado. And proof wise, uh, can't fucking read it. It's all pink and faded looking, but it's strawberry flavored. Fruit forward Kolsch style ale with delicate finish. Let's see. I don't think we have a proof anywhere. No. Yeah, yeah, it's a Kolsch. It's probably like four or five percent. Too big. I don't know a lot about Kolsch's. I've never even heard that term. Before. German style. I, I, yes. I, German true. style. It's something I saw at a brewery a while back, and I had to get all homeworky uh, it's up on here. it. here. Four point eight. Okay. I had to get all homeworky on it. I'm gonna eventually okay. make one myself. So, uh, what's first? Crackety crack. It doesn't matter. Right. Go down the line. That smells good. It smells like strawberries. It smells like strawberry jam. I like how he didn't pour hardly any in his cup. We have plenty in that big tall. Well, I want to make sure you guys got some too. It does smell good. Ooh, smell it, it smells like strawberry jam. All right, Thanks, there, Ron. There's plenty left. Plenty Top left. yourselves off. It does smell like strawberry jam with a little bit of beer. There you go. Gotta keep that hydration level up. You know what would be good? You mix that like peanut butter and yum. Uh huh. Yeah. I was just thinking, no, it's cool. One of my bosses in every morning in every morning meeting for like the last week and a half is all, hey guys, it's hot out there. You keep hydrated. You can choose to hydrate however you want. Hey, Luis, who never will see this, I'm keeping hydrated as you asked. I thought he meant at work, and I thought that was code for go ahead and drink at work. Well, I mean, you know, a lot of those guys work from home, so you know. You know, homework, it's all the same. I like this. Uh-huh. This is very good. It is. Kind of bought it on the whim. It was sitting out there at the front, like, all right, I'll grab that. It is good. So, as always, how the fuck are we doing this week, ladies? Doing really good. Pretty damn spooky. I was thinking of how we could not waste your shitty beer you made. Not that I want to try to keep bringing that up, but I thought of it. That was the shitty wine, not the shitty oh, beer. Oh, that was the shitty wine. That's what I meant. And I am good. I am dumping that. I'm just not ready to dump that. He's not ready to part with it. <laughs> no, it's more along the lines of that's like a lot of work to pull those cases out and like decork them and dump them and gotcha. probably kill my grass or like eat through my pipes. Well, I was thinking. Somebody actually asked for a bottle of that shit specifically because basically it's just fucking blueberry vinegar at this point. Let's be legit on that. <laughs> And she was very formaldehyde. <laughs> and she was all, "Hey, you know what? I want to make some salad dressing from that. Go ahead, go right the fuck ahead." I mean, I that's didn't... not a bad idea, actually. It mm-hmm. wouldn't be a bad idea if it didn't taste horrible. 
Yeah, but you mix some oil in with it, and yeah. I mean, we'll it's, try. you gotta yeah, mix a lot some, of shit in with it to make it and spices. Or I mean, you know what? I'll bring you a bottle. You can be creative about it next time we uh, pregame meal. You could try a sour with it. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I was it's th- shit. Otherwise, why not? I was thinking we could do like me and Ariana could start an OnlyFans, and we could just t- do some tasting, and we would just rinse it around in our mouth, spit it out, and then there'd be probably some sick dude that would want to fucking buy it. Wouldn't be an all of a loss. That was my, my. I was like, what could you do with that? Not the worst and, idea. And that was that was the only thing I could come up with that you could do with that because it's absolutely hideous. Now I will state that I am a team. <laughs> I, I I did take some more blueberries in the same concentrate I started that with, and started a third batch of that blueberry beer or I, I, wine. I hope. And I tried a hit of it last night. It's about halfway through fermentation. It tastes pretty good so far. That's good. And I am being the most OCD fuck on sanitizing. That so. would be too. I think that um, Ron's crappy wine probably would disinfect your mouth too. I, I think like, it would. So, like, what are you talking about? Like, <clears throat> something to get the taste of like badges out of your mouth after yeah, you suck off like, a dick. Like a mouthwash. Like there, like there you go. There you go. It just cleans your mouth. Burns. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Cleans your just mouth. Was it? Didn't they make out of your mouth? Aren't, aren't like douches made of like vinegar or something? So there you go. <laughs> Well, well, now we know what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> did we have, have a conversation about trying yes. to douche once long ago? That was that was we one did of that was conversation. That was that first yeah the, the pilot the the lost episode the one that we haven't put out yeah yeah because it's the lost episode. Yep, did we did. We have to get a popular and then we'll put that out. Right, absolutely. You guys uh, start getting those likes and shares. I'm gonna put out the lost episode. That was a good episode. Then we'll try a douche on sh- <laughs> Ron really will like, try the douche. I think we were pretty drunk in that episode. <laughs> we were. We were. We were, we we were sitting by the, drunk. Well, we were sitting out at the house, like just campfire bullshit and drinking. I'm like, fuck it. Gets out camera. Gets or it's up microphone, laptop. Let's do it. Let's see though. With that, there was. What was I gonna say about that? Nope, lost it. We gotta do Sharina's. That's what it was. It wasn't that I was going to douche my anus. <laughs> if we get a thousand likes on this episode, <laughs> Missy will douche her anus well, live on camera. That's totally called an enema, and that would be another OnlyFans um, <laughs> site. Check out our OnlyFans. I will pay five dollars to see that. Um, no, there. So I know I made notes about it. It was about how I told my kid that you made um, really shitty alcohol. Oopsies. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so I told Logan that you made embalming fluid. And that's what it was. He asked what that was. And I was actually really shocked because he knows about what everything is. And I told him what embalming fluid was. And it's used to preserve bodies so you could have a funeral. He's like, why don't they just pour the body in a bunch of salt? And I was like, well. Because embalming fluid is does different things. <clears throat> well, I told him, I was like, just think about the funeral. You would be like mourning over a piece of beef jerky. And he was like, so. <laughs> he, was, he was like, so. And I was like, well, I mean, I guess I get it. Everybody's like, yum. <laughs> piece of grandma. That's what, that's what it is. Everybody's going to just peel off a piece of grandma. Mm, grandma's hickory smoked. <laughs> that's. Teriyaki beef grandma? That's the thing. He asked me, he was like, do you think that would taste good? I was like, no, dude. He was like, well, no, you could use other seasonings and flavorings if you wanted. I was like, oh my God. Why is my Garlic kid... Garlic jalapeno grandma? Why is my kid so demented? Like 13 years old. Wait, wait, wait. Why is your kid so demented? Have you met yourself yet? Right? I don't talk that way around him. I only started because he, he started just... with me. He's He started being him around he me. He gets it honest. Uh, I mean, He's, you know. He started that shit around me, so I was like, well, if he is that way, I mean, I'll, just, I'll, re- I'll put it back out there. It's that's built in. It is. It uh, is it, built it, in. That shit's genetic. Yeah. If, if you're twisted in the head, then your kids will be twisted in the head. At least one of them. Damn, what the hell's wrong with my parents? <laughs> you know, my daughter likes to ask me what the hell's wrong with me whenever I say something stupid like that. And you yes. know what I usually tell her? My first mistake... Was I was born. Everything's gone downhill mm-hmm. since then. That's great. So Now, my older son, he's uh, he asks me what's wrong with me and then tells me I'm an idiot sometimes. But that's okay. He doesn't mean to be... He's not meaning it in a dick form. But anybody else who asks me what's wrong with me, I'm always like, well, this is wrong. I don't want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't even acknowledge that there's anything wrong with me anymore. I, it's, it's, it's all wrong with everybody else. It, you it's, know, it's everybody else. I'm the normal one. I've been everybody that, else is the weird you one. Know, I have been that way for a long time. Right. My family, for the longest time, was like, why are you so fucking weird, Ron? Why are you so fucking weird? Then I got out into the world, and I grew up, and I realized, oh, wait, I am normal. Pretty fucking normal. They're right? fucking weird as shit. If, if, I mean, if I was, like, really weird and there was shit was actually wrong with me, then I wouldn't be, like, successful like I am. So I feel like, mm, I'm not the bad one. It's the ones that, like, just... Mm. The only other answer is I have is I think there's something in the water in Eaton. Lots of chlorine. And probably your wine. Not in Eaton. So they could clean water with that wine. That's a... Sell it. Sell it to somebody that's looking to clean their water. Their water now, system. I will state for the purposes of more like wine Liquid drain. Shit, more wine like checking shit. My mom never actually cracked a bottle of first bottle of Dragon's Blood I gave her. And I asked her if she was going to. She said no. So I took it back. And so what's in the fermenter now? Because I am pissed as shit about that uh, goddamn nasty stuff I made. Mm -hmm. Right. I want something to compare by because the first hit of blueberry wine was pretty good, right? Absolutely mm -hmm. fucking delicious. So I need something to compare by, and she's the last person that hadn't drank it, so I drank mine immediately. So it's it was trashed. Been put to the side specifically good. to make sure I've got it right this time because if I don't get it right this time or with that strawberry wine, I'm done with making wine. Every you wine. Be done with making wine. You just like, gotta make more. The beers I've made have all turned out fucking amazing. But None of them have turned out bad. But now your beers are good. But that fucking wine, if I don't got the fucking formula down this time, I am pissed as shit. Eh. There's a lot more cost at making that than there is the beer, let me tell you. <clears throat> Fair. That makes sense. To have like that big of a fail, yeah, it's I don't know. Disappointing. So other than my failings as a winemaker. Uh, Any more failings we can make, huh? I mean, I mean, it's good for content. For sure. I mean, it's <laughs> plenty, plenty. <laughs> it's a waste of money, <laughs> right? But for for myself personally, no. Okay, so uh, I don't know about you guys, Ariel. You need to finish that up. I'm on it. Because let's, let's, we're, let's, we're gonna like barrel. I think we're gonna barrel through this a little faster than normal because it's hot. Well, no, and I, and I want no some more. You don't want to do that. Money. I like to take my time. This particular beer nope. is very light. Oh, go ahead and show it, it to the is. camera nice and pretty like you usually do. You're better at it than me. It's a big can. We gotta get that whole can in there. It is nice and light. Um, it's thin. The strawberry taste is fairly, it's not overwhelmingly strong, but it's strong in there. It's not like, oh, I kind of taste strawberry. It's, oh, this is a strawberry beer. Yeah, it's, this was the mysterious beer, but it definitely guess it was strawberry. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the problem with doing that is that it was a taller can, because I was debating between that and then the can that is on the table for the mysterious one. Just get everybody super drunk first. But the big problem is uh, we don't have a can koozie that tall. Right. So, I, I'll, I'll st I have one that tall, I'm just not here. Yeah, so... I need to bring them. But, that aside, um... Yeah. Anything cool? Let's see. I, I don't think I did anything too cool. I did a shit ton of busy work and busy cool stuff, so... I, I hung out in the Oregon District very shortly this morning so I could just take pictures for social media content. Yeah, I saw your pictures of the, uh... The gay pride uh, mannequin with the nipple covers it was a, with the tie. Well, it's so funny because cool. it was that exotic fantasy. And so there was, I, I really well, What was the name of that uh, vibrator they want, we, you oh, needed to buy? The hammer something or other? The hammer? No, it wasn't called hammer. Hammer vibrator? Hammer. Yeah, the, the, the hammer. The, the something it. hammer. I uh, said that it would make like a good sex toy or a good porn name. <laughs> it was a sex toy. Good porn name. So it was really funny though when I was in front of that store it wasn't open but it was like I was looking at those mannequins I was like Jesus Christ these have some huge fucking boobs compared to the ones like typically in the stores right. which I mean that's I was kind of like oh no the porn store mannequins have giant tits it's not it, a realistic body image well it was really funny because I was kind of like okay so apparently like you know you wouldn't see those in any other store unless it was like a plus size mannequin with huge boobs that's like the only other store you would see that in there but it was kind of like it was really funny because even though they were in the window they had like the nipple area taped over and i was kind of like looking at them like they're flat 
Mannequins don't have nipples. They're like virtually not there. It's like a fucking Barbie doll. Why would you have to tape it? Like, there's no need to tape it. Oh, that's that's kind of like, they're, you're not hiding just a nipple. It seem like it's anatomically correct. I was kind of thinking It's either that or there's like some city rule or ordinance or some bullshit about it. Like, they've probably been dinged for like, you know, lewd shit before. Because that porn store you went by has been there for fucking ever. ever. And it is, it has been. It's just been there for over 20 years. Been there as long as I've been ever going down the Oregon district. But it was like, they're all wearing bras. They're all super sheer, see-through thin. And I'm kind of like, but still, like, no need to tape that up. Now, I will say, like, I had a friend that was a stripper once. Same one that uh, kind of caused the name of this podcast. Mm -hmm. But she, uh, she said they would duct tape their nipples, like... No, wait. Maybe that wasn't a stripper. Electric tape or duct tape? Uh, I don't know. I hope electric tape. I, I Do what? I hope electric tape. I don't know. I, I mean, you I know what, remember. Ariana? Don't kink shame her, okay? I, I you don't. You can put whatever you want on her nipples, and she can put whatever she wants on her I don't her know nipples. if it was supposed to be under pasties, or what, like maybe, as, maybe it was just when she would wear it like a really thin spaghetti strap shirt, she would put a thing of duct tape over her nipples. I can't remember, because she was trying to get me to tape up my nipples once. Like, it was really funny. Was Should like, we do an all duct tape nipple episode? Let's do it. Dude, that's right, man. I'll duct tape my nipples I'll, up. You, you, that, I'll be the you worst. You duct tape your nipples, and we'll rip them off on camera. We have to. Oh, boy. You will go shirtless, but then her and I will just go... wear, like, tank tops. No, no, you got to go shirtless, too. No. No. <laughs> I could do that. I, I wouldn't be... I, I would duct tape the hell out of my nipples. I mean, you know, that's going to get those likes up there a lot. You know that's what I'm saying? That's probably true. It probably would. That OnlyFans you keep talking about? I, as much as I talk about an OnlyFans that I don't fucking have, I should have an OnlyFans. I keep thinking of like all these really weird ones that would. I'm like, I wonder if that niche is out there. I wonder if that's like it, you know? Because if, if, if you Missy, think of it, Missy, it's yeah. already been. It's already yeah. a kink. Rule thirty four. What is it? If you think of it, there's porn that it exists. Yes. So yeah. The minute you think about it, the porn is already out there. Yep. It's already been done. It's like a Simpsons did it, but like triple X version. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking about the tape nipples, the mannequins tape nipples, and I think it's to create like mystery. So it's like, you know, like guys are thinking, ooh, I wonder what's under there, you know? Maybe I should just go in the store and check it out. And see go in there, ask what's like, under there, and be like, you know what I mean? like, maybe I can get my girl to wear that outfit. That'd be right. cool, man. It, it, and it, then the guy it, comes it did up. actually. I noticed it. I, I probably wouldn't have thought anything of it with mannequins in the window, like wearing... Did you share that to the butt plug page or not? I did not. I should. You should. Yes. Look for, well, look for that picture yeah, on the Struggle the Butt Plug uh, Facebook feed. There you go. I need, I need to start... I need to get another uh, thing so I can just like turn it on and turn it off and like put clips of the butt plug right hey, there. Butt as, plug adventures? Well, yeah. Pretty much any anytime we're talking and then just get some clips and put it on the... Um, put it on the page throughout the week, you know, as we're waiting for the next episode. But no, the, I do think what she is saying, I get it because that's, I was just driving through the Oregon district. So I was like, where can I go? I knew there was like some painted like walls and shit at, in the Oregon district. And I went to some parks and stuff. And as I drove by, I was like, holy fuck, there's like a lot of tape nipples. Cause there's like three or four mannequins in the window. And I just, all I saw was X's all, I'm like, well, like, any type of ever and, been uh, by there, those mannequins usually are probably wearing, like, sexy brawls of some nature. Absolutely. Yeah, they're not wearing anything. It was all rainbow shit sure. for Pride Month. That so. was that one. The other ones were wearing other shit, so. Although I was warned to not buy stuff from there because somebody saw a curly hair on a toy or something in there. Yeah. But I don't, I kind of wonder, I'm like, was it actually a curly hair? In, in, or was it, like, part of a, just... Like a fiber from the packaging, like the cardboard within it, that just kind of like was black because it had been painted black, maybe, and curled up. I've had shit like that. I, I mean, how many times have you gone into a sex store and be like, "Excuse me, sir, can I try out that large dildo? That vibrator will it actually make me come? I need I, to try." I, that I out. never I have. have it done that. <laughs> there you go. It's like I never. I mean, have, I've never been asked. But I guarantee that if I ever go into, I'm gonna go into a hustler and do that. You know. I, I, I mean, I've never been that. like. Excuse me, sex store operator. That pocket Excuse pussy. Me, sex store that operator. pocket That's pussy. Can I put my dick in it and masturbate for a few minutes to see? Can I try it before I like it? Content. 
That's right. Because you go in there and you record the whole thing. Absolutely. Like, of course. I'll see what the reaction would do without be. recording. You need to get some. Are we talking with like the video camera glasses that are hidden, or just yeah. with the camera straight like, up? I, I have you looked see what for the reaction good. would be, and you put it on the butt plug page. That's right. I have looked for glasses like that for years, and it's like it's hard to find a good pair that actually records sound too, and the video quality is good. But I'm still on a mission. To find, you can eat like, I mean, you can like a glasses cans or like a fin cam or, I mean, there's something that you can do. You can, folks know. Right. There's, there's got to be done. I can do this. And I will this do this. This is all messy. Or hell, like you take somebody into the fucking shop with you and they're standing back and they got a good camera. That's true. So it's and catching just, shit. Just like a button down shirt with it in your titty pocket or something. Recording, I mean, yeah, it would work. This it is the would. kind of shit we would have, like, I oh, would have been yeah. embarrassed. Oh, I would have so it, done it. You would have done it. I would have And I would have been just, like, it. sitting in the background laughing. But <laughs> I'm like, would've... also, like, I don't know her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You would have you totally been laughing. That would have been great. So next time on the Strowing Butt Plug, we're going to ask to demo dildos and pocket pussies from your local sex store. Probably not. No. Maybe sometime. Maybe, Maybe not the next time. Come on, Ron. The dildo or the pocket pussy? You should ask to do the dildo. Like, sure. so would this fit up my anus? I need to know. 12 inch black dong with realistic testicles. That's great. Ariana, do you have any thoughts about 12 inch dongs? No. You think you're going to say something? Come on. No, I wasn't. I was just listening. No. Oh. I like the thought of them having realistic testicles because of everything that I've ever seen. It's, it, the, even if it had testicles, they weren't truly realistic because it wasn't like a, you know, a jiggly bag. It was just like a firm, just... The, well, they're all made of like hard silicone or something, right? Right, but they need to actually be a bag with two little balls in them. I bet it like, does somewhere. It probably does. You get some of like the stress balls in the test. Right, I, I feel like it would be more so like a... Um, um, it wouldn't be a dildo. It would be a strap-on. It would be like that. But that so actually reminded me... strap-on, you got the realistic balls so you can hear them smacking your ass? Yeah, that's what I think. But no, so... There was so I took the kids to was Coast. There's a segue. Ball slap was, for the kids. <laughs> wow. There, there's a reason why that reminded me. <laughs> so I took the kids to Kosai, which is a science museum. I don't know if they have them all over the place. There's just like one or two of them here in Ohio. Kosai, it, it's, uh, it's Ohio's Columbus. Columbus something something science. And so anyway, I went to I took the kids there. And that particular time, their um, main attraction was like the like the scientific human body shit like that. So there's all kinds of things going through there. I think I remember this story. And I uh, so I took them in there, and I uh, I so there was this one thing. There was this video, and you saw like some clear plastic that went down like this, and it had this upward V like this. So it was hips and like thighs. And then it had this little sack right here, and I was like, all right. So it was basically teaching you that's like how you feel for testicular cancer. I was like, how you're supposed to feel the testicles. And there would be like a short clip of video how you do it, and then it would just keep repeating itself. How but do you feel for testicular cancer? Would you like to find out? That's what I did watch it, you know? So then I was like looking at Thanks, the- Thanks, Anne. No. <laughs> but I so, mean, don't so you care if I have cancer? I care enough to have to remind you to fill your balls tonight, which I'm sure you will. <laughs> so, so the, the the sack with the balls in it, I was like, hmm, now my kids were young. So they were the one, Logan, I, I don't really remember how old they were, but I, I was like, hey, Logan, feel this. So he like grabbed the sack and was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, I pointed at the video and he watched it. He was so furious. He started crying and shit. I was like, oh man, I feel bad, you know? And then I was like, hey. I made my kid touch fake balls. I was like, quick, here comes Jacob, get him. And he's like, hey, Jacob, touch that. And like, he put his hand up there, and then he looked. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he put his hand back down. Like, he was just that age. He knew better. Logan, just a little bit younger, didn't know better. It, it was, I loved it. I was, I was... Proud moment there. I was like, I feel like I've heard this story before. Yeah, I, I think it's one of her favorites because it's like, this is the time I tricked my kids into touch <laughs> touching fake, fake balls. balls. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe did I tell it? I don't know. You know, she was talking earlier. I wonder why my kids are so fucked up and so twisted. <laughs> uh, gee, I wonder. Hey, no idea. That was at the science it's museum. It wasn't at. It wasn't at. It wasn't at the. This was at museum. the science museum. <laughs> this wasn't to be fucked up. This was for science. <laughs> How else? 
Yes. However, this also reminds me of this article. So I was on Facebook today, and somebody posted an article about um, bleach-stained underwear. So basically, like, it was like, that bleach spot in your underwear, it's completely normal. So I click into this uh, thing, this article, and I'm uh, reading it. And so it's talking about the Vagina Museum in the UK, and I was like, well, there I need to plan a trip to the UK. I want to go with you. Obviously. <laughs> and so it's like, so there, I guess people have donated underwear to the UK, like, with their, like, because they have, like, bleached areas in the fabric. And it's like... Um, so it says this is com- in the wrong spot. It's completely normal, and because the typical pH of the vagina is acidic, so that's it. Just basically bleaches the fabric, and that's why it's completely normal. And then so somebody was like, there was a couple like a threads of some comments of people being like, "Hey, no wonder why you know I I, I was really concerned about like the holes and stuff because like I mean you're at the acidic." nature of your vagina also can eat through that like fabric too and stuff that's real thin and shit whatever and so like there's people talking back and forth about it and somebody mentioned teeth whitening <laughs> like like could you use it to white your teeth and then like basically the article <laughs> explains that the whatever your like the, ble- the bleaching of the underwear is because it's there for a prolonged period so therefore whitening teeth wouldn't make sense because you would have to like have your teeth there for a prolonged period, and that's not fun for the vagina. Uh, well, if you want to go talking about, it you depends know, on what they're doing. If you want to talk about natural teeth whitening, I've read many times that you know before modern dentistry and teeth bleaching, the way they used to do it, in like old school Roman times, people used to like swish piss around in their teeth. They'd swish piss around their that's mouth. That's gross. And, and I, that is how I back in the day, you know, the the acid from your urine would bleach your teeth white. It would also like eat away the enamel way faster than necessary. Oh. So like all the people and all the like rich fancy people and like you know Roman times, Greek times that did that, they'd be through like their like you know teens and early twenties with really bright, pretty teeth because they're drinking a lot of piss. I don't think they're drinking it. They're yeah. probably swishing it. They're swishing a lot of piss, <clears throat> spitting it out, and then you know all of a sudden once all the enamel's gone, instantly a ton of cavities as they like got older. Yes. So. So the story is... There are people that still practice that shit. So the story here is, Missy, I mean, maybe you can't, like, you know, bleach your teeth by uh, keeping your mouth near your vagina the whole time. But, I mean, if you're but in the golden showers... If you're in the golden showers... Well, it's not golden showers. It's just vag- vaginal pH. But so anyway, Golden showers is totally pissing, though. Well, you can. But that's... You don't have to, because apparently that's just the pH of the vagina. But, no, so... I mean, at least, that, at least this time we're that, not talking about shit. That segues to everything but shit. That segues to another... So I was in this other group. It was a meme group, and somebody screenshotted, like, this group. And people were talking... It was basically, like, a group for people who are, like, self-medicating with urine. Like, that's a thing. Like, just cleaning the body. It's natural. It's good for the body. I was like, no fucking way. So I get into this group, and they actually let me in this group... I dumped out immediately because there was somebody in that group that was bitching about, like, I don't know why they were doing it. Like, they put their own pee in their eyes. And they were saying, like, that they were, like, were getting crust in their eyes and whatever. And they're like, oh, no, it's okay. That's natural. You just keep doing it. I'm like, that's called an infection. And, like, this was a real group of people who just basically use their urine to, they think it's, like, makes their body perform better, preserves better, like... I'm like, this is, there's people out there that actually do that fucking shit. I've never heard of that. I, say, I think my other thoughts on the topic are like, if I'm in the middle of the desert, I've heard you can drink your own pee to once, survive once. It's toxic this, anytime after that. I Too think. much year year or something. But the point here is, is that no mm-hmm. thanks. Uh, hey. No thanks. I'm good. I'm glad she said once just in case this happens. <laughs> Now, the, to I that, thought my just, no, stuck in the let, desert would be much more than this. <laughs> now, now, I'm going to say, let's put a, uh, a an air quotes on that. I can drink my own pee, but I can't drink Missy's pee. It's I have not a kinky. Too. It's not a kinky thing. It's like a biological, like, poison you thing. That's another thing. So, I had this patient one time. and You so, talked about this once. Did I talk about that on here? You did. Yeah. Oh, damn it. You talked Are you about that. The... accidentally made someone drink their pee? No, not that one. Okay. No, so there was, there's this, um, so, um, C. diff. That's basically like a bacteria you get, like maybe you just like might accidentally eat your poop or something. Or, like, you can get it if you are on, like, you get, like, a really bad infection and you're 
on like a whole bunch of um, antibiotics and those antibiotics basically like they just fuck up the system and within your body and you continuously have like diarrhea and just like your bowels aren't proper and you have to get that fixed. So the, the bacteria in your bowels, if you can't get that fixed through other medications and bacteria. Oh, I've heard about that. People like um, having a poop transplant. Yes, I've heard of this. I had a patient that had to have a poop transplant before and we, we took her, that was the first time I'd ever heard about that. And so I took, when we took her back to the nursing home, we told, you know, gave the nurse the paperwork and she was like looking at us, oh my God. So I, obviously we had to sit there and Google it. She goes, I hope I'm not the one that has to do this. Like, how am I supposed to do this? You know, whatever, blah, Like blah. eons ago, I went to the hospital and I had to get pumped full of a shit ton of antibiotics. Yes. And it fried all the good bacteria in my entire system. Did you and, have to put yogurt up your asshole? No, but I ate a shit ton of yogurt. <laughs> but that being said, that's probably like where they came up with that idea, you know? Yes. So, I watched a YouTube video about this one time. And I guess, like, if you put somebody else's poop up inside you, it's like you can take on their character. I don't know if you're not really taking on their characteristics. Like, if I put your poop in my ass, I'm not going to get, like, all kinds of hair and then go bald on top. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the dude he basically chose someone like him like the guy was gay so he chose a gay white male about his age and there was like a whole lot of things that he went through to choose this particular guy why he chose this guy and suddenly he went from a dude that loved to suck dick to like a power bottle <laughs> <laughs> He's I like, man, I, used I would to like love to, to suck. see that video. He's like, man, I used to love to suck dick, but after that fecal transplant, man, I just want it all up my ass. Just ram it right in there. Don't ask questions. Just prison bitch my ass all the way along. <laughs> That's good stuff. I like it. I'm going to interrupt your story for just a second beer? because I'm hot and I want another beer. Sweet. So My story was over. I was, in, I was into your prison bitching the asshole. See... Okay, so how, you go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You don't ever talk. <laughs> how do you become a person that donates your poop for someone else? I don't know, but I was, I was hearing, like, where, oh, where wherever I heard about it, I heard that, like, you can make good money donating your poop. I want to do this. Well, I can poop. So, anybody, anybody, I can poop. Everybody poop. Everybody, poop. everybody See, does so poop. They this, write books about this. So my only thoughts are, this takes me back to my, my current favorite TV commercial. The fucking cola guard. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't so, familiar. So I, I, I see it all the goddamn time on TV. And basically, it's this little talking box that walks around with these slightly older people, like 45, 50 plus, talking about the benefits of cola guard. And how you basically, he doesn't say it, but you shit in a box, and you mail the box off, and they t DNA check your poop to see if you got colon cancer. Maybe and I every time I that. see that box as the mask guy, I just see it going, Hey guy, shit in me and mail me off. I want your poop. What I was seeing that I really heard from Ron, all I hear is slightly older, and then he's like 45. Were you saying slightly older as a general population or slightly older than us? Because you're almost 45, dude. Am I going to have to get you a box <laughs> sent to your house? Yes, Missy. I will shit in the box <laughs> for you, dear. Well, don't send it to me, dude. I don't want that. You sent oh. it back to call, call a guard. Well, you know, like 45 and up, colon cancer shit. Yes, I'm going to have to have fingers stuck up my butt soon enough, and I won't get a kiss on the mouth if, if we have a lot of uh, subscribers and viewers at that time, can we do a live? <laughs> Will YouTube let us post that live? If it's a medical thing, maybe. Maybe. You're all like, maybe. Uh, you would just have to Education. have a little blurry spot. Little little cold mosque me thing going yeah, on? Yeah, you just have a blurry spot in that area. And then you, it could be education. It'd be like Ron's colonoscopy. It'd be like all the hair. It'd be like men. It'd be <laughs> like Men's Health Month or something. There you go. Um, as a mild subject change, but not too far because I want to drink this shit. The next beer is. How is it only mild? Because what's the fucking beer? Damn it. <laughs> That's a complete, That's a complete subject, complete change. subject change. <laughs> you know what? At least it's not as bad about that last shift where you're like, blah blah blah. By the way, my kid's <laughs> touching balls. <laughs> Anyway, the next beer we have is a uh, Gumball Head by Three Floyds. I don't know if I tried that a few weeks ago. It, is an, it. it is an American wheat ale. Um, and I thought it was an IPA. 
It says American Wheat Ale, Wheat Pale Ale, so. That's uh, an IPA. And a little IPA-ish. Uh, what do we got for proof here? Uh, yes, I tried to try it, but the place that had it was out of it, so I tried uh, the other IPA by that brand. And it's brewed over in Munster, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Munster, not Minster. So I actually looked this up because I have one in the fridge. And it's like one of the top 50 breweries in this country, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. And if we like it, we have like a whole shit ton more of these to drink. Sweet. Before we get to the uh, the secret. The mysterious beerious, not the secret. Yeah, Ron. You know what? The secret, the mystery bistery. Mystery bistery. <laughs> the mysterious beerious. I'm going to pour this shitty so you get lots of head. Ariana. I want lots of head. There you go. Don't we all? You barely gave her any beer. I haven't given her any yet Give because you're closer. Beer. I will go get another can. Yeah. Shall I go get another can? Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. First, let's drink. Okay. It smells, smells like beer. like a rubber band. It smells IPA-ish. Ew. Smells like, that's that's a bag of rubber bands. That's what IPAs are like to me. It's not a bad it's IPA. It smells like asparagus. Bit. No, it doesn't smell like asparagus. It, it smells a little bit like a rubber band. Now that you've suggested it, oh. I smell it. Now you've had these like before. You've rubber had this. band soaked in like... Lemon juice or something. That's yeah, you've had good. this before, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a bad IPA. Because that's I when I first started trying to oh, drink. Oh, show the uh, thing the can. When I like cool. the artwork on it. I do too. When I first started trying to like um, craft beer, I really didn't know that there were so many different types and kinds of craft beer. I don't know that it was like a too big of a thing, but um, it was. Definitely not as good as the strawberry stuff, but it's still okay. I was trying Fat Tire and some other stuff, and I was talking to uh, talking to a coworker about the beers, and they're all almost IPAs. That was like the big thing that was most of them were IPAs, and we both agreed that it tasted kind of like rubber bands. Talking about different shit. Um, over the weekend, I went to Kings Island with a uh, old Zachy boy down there, and before we went to it, we went to Cartridge Brewery. Um, I put some pictures up on the Butt Plug Facebook. They had two that really stuck out to me really fucking good. One was a pina colada. It was like a pina colada IPA, and it was fucking delicious. For a beer, it tasted exactly like a, a pina colada. And then the other one was this, like, smoky barbecue thing going on, and I'm trying to figure out how the hell they got the, uh, the, the smoke flavor in there. From it, because I had a pulled pork sandwich with it, and that was fucking delicious. They could just put the smoke flavor in there, or if I don't know if it, like if it was a in a barrel type thing. Well, I talked to the brewer, and he said something about like burning Irish moss or adding Irish moss to it or something. Fair. And I was trying to figure out like how, it's like you know, were they burning it? If it just sits and soaks. It yeah. doesn't necessarily have to ferment. The taste, the flavor profile will be there. It was one of those things where it's like the night before I had just brewed another, started another batch. I'm like, how the hell do they do this? Because I want to know how the hell they right. did it. So this is an American wheat ale brewed with white wheat and dry hopped with hand selected hops from the Yakima Valley. Bright and refreshing with a lemony finish. And I thought I tasted the lemony finish. That's why it's extra hoppy. They dry hopped it. I'm not a fan of citrus beer, unless it's an IPA. That kind of dumbs down the hot flavor for me. And I'm all right with the... I think this is good, but I think it's set warming up, waiting uh -huh. for us too long. Uh -oh. Need more koozies or buckets, ice buckets. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Let me go grab another one. It's cold in the fridge or not. I won't drink any more of it because I've got super buzz and I'll be super trashed before I leave. Okay. And I gotta be. Well, then we won't get any more of it. Semi sober. So let's see. Um, I mentioned my little trip down there, uh, Kings Island, awesome amusement park. I was already again to try their uh, freaking blue ice cream beer and just got too fucking hot this weekend to even think about beer while I was down there. I would have cracked an ice cold beer. That's what you gotta do. I, at this point, I'd almost go to, I thought about getting a job at Kings Island so I could get a free pass there. Cause I'm, I'm kind of wondering this, if you get a job there and they give you a free pass, if, if you quit, do you get your pass revoked? Because Probably. I would quit immediately. And if I had the card pass, I would just 
Oh, they probably do revoke it. It wouldn't be that hard to do. It would not be that hard to do, but if they didn't, I'd just be like, ha ha, bitches. Or else I would work like one day a month. I hate working. I'm done working. Um, Me too. I don't know. The only other thought I have is that you just need to go to fucking Sonder the brewery and actually get it. Yes. Get one that's well, there. To... Get one that's there without having to go to King's Island. You have to wait till they have them released, or until everybody just buys, like everybody in the well, area. Well, like, they have it on, they have it on tap, but they're not doing like growlers, gotcha. growlers, okay. howlers, I think or cans. Easy to have on tap. Yeah. It's not blue, is it? No, it's like. Well, actually, I think it is blue. I've seen some pictures in the beer groups. I thought I saw beer, and I thought it was like this color. It's like a hazy. Blue. It's like a hazy version, hazy bluish version of that. I'm pretty sure they probably added some dye to get the color. I feel like it's not blue. I don't fucking know. I don't know. There's still plenty of time in the summer to go hit it up and try it again. There is. Maybe we could do a group session. Go to Sonder and hit it up. We should. I'm we good. should like pick a Saturday and like go to Fuck Sonder. yeah. And record. Do our podcast from the place. I mean, you know. Adora would be a good place. I I'm game for this weekend. I've got sort of a week. I don't have any plans. No one's told me of anything for the upcoming 4th of July weekend shit. So... Mm -hmm. I might be, I might have Saturday free. Yeah, it's uh, holiday weekend. It'll blow off a little bit of time in the evening or the afternoon or as, something. As, I work Fridays, and so Saturdays are shit for me. And so I would spend that with the kids because it's a weekend. She's like the worst date ever. Any other Saturday would be all right because it's not a holiday weekend, so I can just be like, fuck off, I don't care. I'm cool with any other Saturday. I don't have any Saturday plans as of right now. Right. What about Monday? The Monday of the after. I have like half that day off. Ooh, but she does not. Unless she does. I have Monday off. Do you really? Ooh. I could do Monday. Possibly Monday from Sonder. Because Sonder's. what would that be the day that we would be That's recording? That's the day we were recording, actually, yeah. Okay, well that would work then. Hell yeah, we definitely could. Uh... Hey guys, next week on the butt plug, we might actually go somewhere and drink beer and review there it. There you go. Hell we might, we yeah. might not. You never know. Review some Saunders. You, we get a lot of tastings because Saunders doesn't do flights. They do singles. I wonder if they have that fucking carrot cake beer still. It's, they probably do. It's, I think that, it's, that it might be a staple. I guess. They had, we were there, they had this carrot cake beer and it looked like you took a carrot and pureed it, and it was a bit tasted like carrot cake. It's a place where you can take your dogs. I didn't see the dogs inside, though. That's the only thing. I don't see them inside. I see them outside. Everybody has them outside. So you're telling me I should bring Charlie? Um, I don't know. It depends on if you think that would be too annoying to have to care for a dog and do a podcast. Probably. He, yes. He, he, probably. <laughs> he's a very needy dog. He's a good dog. I was going to say that. Yeah, you've been a dog. I'd be cool with Charlie hanging out with us. You want me to bring Charlie? Char we can do, do Charlie. 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 Charlie's good. Charlie will be our guest, our, our first special official guest. guest. Our first yeah, official we, special guest. There you go. And if, if, if anybody just stumbles guest. onto us recording, then we can just throw them in and be like, sit down, who are you? Announce yourself. What have you been drinking? Well, what do you like to drink? Think By the way, this podcast is called The Strumming Butt Plug. No, don't walk away. We're not going to put a strumming butt plug in your ass. That's great. Unless you're into that shit and you're hot. But that's a whole other topic of conversation. I don't think if I don't care how hot somebody is, I don't think I'd ever want to shove anything in their butt. Just like uh, an announced just first meeting them. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Ron. Would you Hi, please... how are you? Good what? afternoon, sir. My name is Ron. How is it? Nice to meet you. So, uh, would you please drop your pants? I need to shove this up your anus. What? No, no, no. It's just it, it, it's just what I do. It's cool. Be cool, man. Be cool. I said be fucking cool. Damn. It's 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 That's part of the uh, it's the it's hazing, the initiation. The hazing hazing. initiation. Yes. We don't have to get them because we 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 own hazing them. Hazing and initiation is fun. Okay. <laughs> not not no 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 no. I'm not saying I want stuff shoved All right, my Ariana, butt. you hold her down. I'm getting it out. I, I was more so thinking about like my job. We always have to harass and haze people. Like that's just the thing. If you're the newbie, you can get fucked. <laughs> Most strong like, look. Get fucked, newbie. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Suck a dick, I, you're the bitch. I, I've never done. They are the bitch. I've never done, uh, I've never violated anybody with a butt plug at all, ever. Not yet. <laughs> right, there you go. That's God, the, where, yes. what have you even been doing for your life, bitch? Only fans. That's, you know, next step. Violating yourself or somebody else with it. Hey, if it makes the money, it makes the money. Ariana, clench them butt cheeks. Let's walk away <laughs> backwards. That's a good idea. Because I know where this bitch, <laughs> she'll do anything for money it's, and... It's, it's going to be, it's going to be like, um, the... 
human centipede, but only butt plug style. It's going to be like a board full of butt plugs. And everybody's going to be bent over at the same time. It's all going to go in. <laughs> they're, going to, they're all going to be connected with a fucking two by four See, butt plugs. I wonder if that's a thing out there. That's got to be a thing. Well, Maybe now that I've you, invented something. Now that you said it. <laughs> now that I said it, doo -doo, there's going to be a porn. I'm going to research it. I'm going to be like, <laughs> we need the butt plug. So she's going to be on like fucking Pornhub. Like, oh, hey, it is a thing. I'm going to be a butt plug. There you go. We're going to do. Uh, uh, that, 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 are we Googling or just going straight to Pornhub? Butt plug board. <laughs> going straight to Pornhub or school? Uh, I Google. Turn off safe search. Amazon. Draw what? Epic party board game. No. Draw what? Draw what? Mature Ouija board. Spooky butt plug summons demons. That's on Etsy. Let's see what we got here. An Etsy butt plug board. Game. Oh my god, yes! A Ouija board. <laughs> so it's a butt plug with a Ouija board can, in it. Can we get that? Go, go ahead and put that on the on the uh, butt plug page I now. I will. Oh, oh. Just like screenshot, put it on there. There we go. It's glow F yourself. I think it used to be called glow fuck yourself. Um, that Man, those I, demons that are gonna be talking to you through that butt plug are having a hell of a day. I googled a different something or other one day, and I, these people have glow f yourself many different types of. They got a dice butt plug, a d20, torquomatic booty. They have all oh, the back door stop butt plug. You know those door stops? You go. Know, <laughs> They have those. That is funny. Oh my god. <laughs> that taco holder butt plug. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I've god. seen the taco holder this, one I've before. I've not. This is amazing. Who comes up with this shit? <laughs> that Etsy it's, account. What's their name? Oh my god. Um, glow F yourself. So you can glow F yourself on Etsy, man. Packs. You, there man. You, you. You're a fucked up motherfucker. We like you. I would want them on here. They're to censored glowfuckyourself.com. Custom smoker friendly. Why is it censored? Um, because the smoker about friendly butt plug, random colored silicone booty toy gas mask, mature 420 weed. I want to see that. <sighs> it's, it's only 45 fucking dollars. Well, Missy's going shopping for everybody's what? birthday early. Is that it? Or Christmas? Oh my fucking god, that is it. Wait, what's going on now? It's it's is a it, fucking bomb like a it's bomb butt plug. It's it's well yeah it is a bomb. A bomb butt plug. Holy so you stick it up. Shit! Wow. These it doesn't travel through the rectum and anus, but you, what is that? A micro SD card? A Jesus butt plug? Those clackers? A fucking a, 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 a googly eye? A I googly see eye some, butt plug? I like the clackers. I, like yeah, the clackers. I, I want to see somebody. I like them both. I need to see somebody with a clacker butt plug in there. Right. And then they're like twerking and you go snap, 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 snap. My Little Pony snow I'm trying blow. to learn how to twerk this week. Yeah. <laughs> I Rain toss it. butt plug. <laughs> I've, I've heard of the ring toss butt plug. Howard Stern had them on his uh, Be the Star of the Donkey. What do we? Trump troll butt plug? Emotional support animal and EMS symbol. What is that? Oh, oh my god, a pacifier at the end of a butt plug. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking phenomenal. Now, there'll oh, be links shit. to all this shit and pictures on the uh, butt plug really face page butt very plug. soon. I, I too am moist. Um, Hillary Clinton, Nicolas Cage. Well, I don't know what that is because it's not a butt plug. Holy shit, this is fucking great. Trump, you're fired, butt plug. I don't know what that one is. Phone mounting GPS butt plug. Oh my god. A butt plug that tracks where you're at. Beer bong butt plug. Hey, it's the ta the Tajin. The Tajin. Mm -hmm. It's the Tajin. Tajin. It's a bottle of Tajin butt plug. <laughs> this okay. is fucking phenomenal. Say so you like twerk and you're like putting Tajin <laughs> on your fruit. <laughs> you're like twerking like shake, 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 well, shake, you know, shake, 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 You like to shake, cook for us a lot of times before the thing. So, you know, the next time we're spicing it up, you're going to get one of those like, by the way, guys, you just drop that on the counter. Before you got here, I spiced all this up. Just set that on the counter. Like, hope you enjoy eating that because my butt helped make that. Yeah, and you're like wearing a skirt and you like turn around and like you're just, like sticking out and you're just like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Like, do you want some more spice? Be like, you be like some more spice. Missy was all about that stuff. She's like, sure. You know, turn over a bit of a. We're just like, uh, what? <laughs> I got a mood ring butt plug so you can tell nice. if your girl's in the mood. Like, <laughs> they're like, is this safe to take out and put my penis in? Oh, stand back. She's fucking pissed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> she's not happy that I made her put a butt plug in just to see if she's in the mood for sex. Oh my god, this shit is fucking. What is it? Gone fishing butt plug? 
Oh my god. Oh, you know that little fishing game with the magnet? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> that's what it is. I what? can't see that's what it is. This is so fucking funny. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh my oh. god! So this there was a little game when you were a kid, if you're not paying attention, where they had like little fish that would open their mouth and they all had magnets in it and they'd go around in a circle. And you'd have like little plastic fishing rods and you'd dip it in, grab the fish, and pull it out. Somebody made that into a butt plug, so instead of using your hand to pull I think the fish this out. This person might be my hero. I'm Whoever gonna, is making these, you are my hero. I'm gonna have to put these like within the video. Like, Can we tag I'm, them? What's that? Can we find them on Facebook and tag them also? Yeah, why not? I don't, well, I don't know if they're on Facebook. We have to find out and tag them on Facebook or something. Just so you know they're getting some fucking cred. Right, there you go. Blow F cred. yourself, home of the internet's favorite butt plug store. That's all they do is butt plugs. That's cool. Not that is go <laughs> blowfyourself.com. They're in Portland, Oregon. Buyers are raving. Oh, I want to read the, the fucking the reviews. Yes. Three While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yes. Mysterious Burius. The Mysterious Burius for the week. Let's say it in deep voice. Mysterious Burius. So, yeah. so, so, so. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour this. You guys get to tell me what the flavor is before okay. you drink it. Okay. Or know what it is. Fucking cute. I have not, had it. I have not had it in these yet. The package itself made me giggle. That is 17 plus 2 strength on my first work. That's the dice. Got a 17 plus 2 strength on my first work. <laughs> Want me a wagon rolling cop? My new lucky plug. Oh, this is fucking phenomenal. This is great. This is gonna be a blog post. I'm making a blog post. Do it. And I'm I'm gonna post all of these on fucking strobing butt plug like right now. Right oh, meow. Right meow. Yes, right meow. All right. So what you think, guys? It smells like. A toilet. This thing, is not my favorite. A urinal cake. <laughs> so, does. so this is not my favorite. It's flavor. a sour. Gravy. It's a sour. This is not my favorite flavor. Ew, what flavor does Ron hate? I, I knew like, this once. It smells like grape. This is not my favorite flavor, but it's. He's not a watermelon fan. But I was thinking. Oh, yes. is that like the warp wing watermelon. watermelon? It is. I love the warp wing I watermelon. I was thinking that looked like a watermelon. It is. Uh, I can see the very top of we it. We have warp wing. They're uh, so. I magic love melon them. mongo I goo. I love what, them. That magic melon watermelon goose from warp wing. I, I don't the think minute it you like watermelon the, at all though. The minute you said it wasn't your favorite flavor, I was like, I know I knew this before. Dayton, Ohio warp. That's still one of my favorite breweries of all time. Like, I don't think this is bad. I I I. They're really good cold. Like, um, Larry's buddy bought some, and he did not like them. He thought they were atrocious. He was about to really dump them all out. Larry's like, no, nah, Missy will drink them. And it's like, it's because it's a sour for one. If you're a beer 4. drinker. 4.7% for the record, guys. I'm a sour guys. fan, but there's a few of them that I've liked. Most people don't like uh, There's some that I don't like. And I used to be a sour fan, and I've become less of a sour fan, but they're still good. Like, like they're not my favorite. Had last week I liked that uh, uh, Spectrum. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. I like that. I think the only one we've only one we've had that I've truly despised was like that really dark grape one that I just thought tasted like acid reflux. There was a couple that tasted kind of acid refluxy, but they were both really good. So what was that other one? The, well, it was the uh, pride one. It was um, uh, that Martian? It was a slushy sour, and that tasted acid refluxy ish, but not as bad as that one. Yeah. The one you you described it as when you're getting ready to throw up is what you described. The one Ron brought it. It had the um, the burp. Yeah. Well, yeah, it had the uh, the the demonic um, lettering on it. Yeah, it was one of our first oh, episodes yeah, okay. we did. I remember. But because I saw this. I didn't think I would I like, it, like spe it specifically, but I like the color of the can, and I figured, all right, maybe you guys would be into it. Ooh, I don't think it's bad. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I like the way that is, but I'm gonna blur it all, so then it, that nobody will know what it is. Do 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 do. Good pick. Like picturing and editing during the fucking plug. The butt plug. During the plug. So you still turn your kids, you're going to go butt plug it up? I do. And it's so funny because Jacob, like, he was like, are you leaving? I was like, well, I told you I was leaving. He was like, where are you going? I was like, I said I was going to go play with butt plugs with my friends. <laughs> and he's like, I go to their house? Like, it wasn't even a thing. It wasn't even like, mom, what do you mean? What are you doing? When I was leaving, my daughter was like, wait, you just got home from work. Yeah, I know. It's Tuesday. Okay. I'm going to go butt plug it up. Again? You do that like all the time. I'm like, well, yeah, that's like our recording days every fucking Tuesday. Come on, man. That's so. Is she happy to get rid of you? I mean, like, 
You think she would be? So I was at work. Age? So like I was at work all day, and I think she finally flipped herself back to the not stay up all night, but you know a normal person's schedule. And she was like, "Hey, Dad, you're home. Let's talk about things. Go, let's go do things. Go buy takeout. This, that, and the other." I'm like, "Payday's tomorrow, and I got a butt to look at." Like I didn't want to yeah. be around my parents when I was her age. I didn't. I always wanted to be gone. That's because I, I often think about like certain things that I do, and I'm like. How did I do this, you know, when I was little? What, like, like, what's the method? What's the, I was like, well, I was never home. Because, well, see, that's, I, um, I, when I was at work a couple weeks ago, I was talking to one of my partners about intermittent fasting, and he said something about the fact that he's like, that's, like, why he think, like, um, he read something on it that they say that, like, younger kids are often, like, skinnier because like they go to school they skip breakfast they don't fucking eat and then they'll like eat later and then they don't eat super late and then they go to bed and i'm like well that makes sense i was like because i did not eat breakfast i barely ate any lunch and then i you know eat at home and it was like but i hated being at home and i remember because i was like i like eating a lot now i never used to like eating i used to hate eating and it's like i would actually have to sit down and be at home to eat. That's I was like, I hated eating. It's like I'd just be out and about, and I'd be like, nah, I'm too cheap. I'll just buy some fries so or you, buy some mozzarella sticks so or something. So you stupid. say you say this, and during the school year, my daughter, she's like, I will not eat breakfast because my stomach just feels fucked up, and I just I, won't. I couldn't when I was young. I, and then that made me feel sick. like come the uh, when she went from junior high to high school, like the lunches started turning into shit. Yeah. So she went to school lunches, and during the school year, I'd buy, you know, I'd go to the store, buy, like, you know, those big boxes of chips. She'd take one bag of that and, like, yeah. a bottle of tea with her to school, and that's all she'd eat all day and not eat okay. anything till dinner time. Now, if I didn't feed her, like, immediately when I got home from work, she'd be there, like, gnawing my dinner off. I always a snack. I did that a lot. Or, I mean, I'd just be around town, so I'd go into the store or go into the little, uh... Yeah, but she had, like, a job and money. I did. Yeah. She doesn't have that whole job thing. The other I also day, had allowance. I got lunch money. I had a plethora of cash for being a cheap, she, she jobless. Was, well, I had a job, but... I say the other day, I come home, she's all, Hey, Dad, I want insert thing here. I'm like, cool. That's funny. Well, what I want insert want? fish. Just, uh, oh, more, more fish. animals? No. She's like, I want some more fish. Okay, cool. Well, want some more fish. Well, that takes money to pay for them, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you got a job of money? No. Well, there you go. Then you can't have more fish. Bye. But but I want it because I want it. Well, did you do anything useful around the house today? No, I just want it. Well, tough shit. Because, yeah. you know, fucking kids, man. Oh, God damn it. So, Ariana, you've been exceptionally quiet for most of this episode because Missy and I have just been a little extra. So, tell us something amazing about your week. Anything. Amazing about my week? Or horrible. Something that only the Ariana can bring to the conversation. Uh, let's see. What happened that was amazing that I was willing to talk about? Well, that, that, that beside the point. We talked about some of those other things you won't talk about right. on here. And that's fine. Um, we so don't want to get into that shit. I didn't tell you this story. Um, there's a dude on Facebook who... <laughs> he... We, like, belonged to a humor group or whatever, and we, like, laughed at each other's memes or whatever, and he friended me, and I'm, like, kind of, like, I don't know. You know, like, I'm kind of, like, weird. You like my memes. That means you'll like my dick. Well, I'm, maybe, that was kind of what I was thinking, but, like, I'm kind of, like, wary about friending people that I don't know, you know, I'll, like, scope their profile, and I'll get kind of stalkery about it or whatever, and... And I was kind of thinking, like, uh, I don't know, you know? And then, like, I was like, all right, whatever. And then he If you successfully screw that dude because of his memes, I want to know. I'm going to copy his meme not, game. That's not a thing. Damn! <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. The meme game is strong with me, though. He, like, started chatting with me, and I'm like, God damn it. Like, I don't want to chat with you, you know? Like, and my, my one friend, I'm always like, how do you just make friends on Facebook? And it's because she chats with people. And I'm like, I don't want to chat with people, you know? Like, unless they know them. Like, I don't really care to chat with people and just like, yeah, I'm like, this guy's going to get annoying. But anyway, he starts sending me like, he sent me this meme and I think actually you put it on Facebook earlier and it was like a porn, like a picture of the girl, like, you know, the girl's face. Like, the you're going to make me like, come girl. And she's like, it said something like, uh, when you bought the expensive sheets and they don't fit on the bed or something like that. Uh. And he was like, 
like I just laughed at it you know I didn't respond to it and he's you know I was kind of like I chatted with him a little bit you know I like respond did to he send a picture of his penis no not yet <laughs> but she's convinced he's going to I'm convinced. This, the thing. Is, this is the point of the story actually if he does please but let us know we'll rate his dick he sent me he sent me that meme and I'm like this is leading me somewhere that I don't want to go I know it is and I laughed at it and then like you know, I didn't respond, and then, like, a couple hours later, he responds with, like, a tee-hee and, like, something. I don't know what he said. I can't remember. It was something like, uh, I hate it when that happens. You know, something. I don't know. But then he's, like, I didn't respond to that either, and then he sends another picture. Like, I get, a, get in there and, like, look at it um, while I'm at work today, and he sent me a meme, and I'm like, okay. And then he sends me a picture of his... From like his waist down, he was wearing pants. It wasn't like a boner picture, like a, a not dick pic, picture. dick pic. But it was like, yeah, it was like he was wearing shorts and his dog was sitting right here. I'm like, okay, this is leading to a dick pic for sure. So I'm like, how do I respond to this? I don't know. Like, I'm just not gonna. <laughs> this is my puppy. Would you like to see my other big dog? Exactly. That is exactly what I was thinking. My thought was so she mentioned this earlier, and it was like. I told her, I said, I would, I would have sent something saying, I like the dog. I will never not want a dog pic. And then my immediate thought after was, hey, how about a picture of my hot dog? Like, <laughs> that's what I thought. But like, man, I thought that was going to be a foot long, not like one of those little skyline right, mini wieners. Right, like, that's a Vienna sausage, you little bitch. Like, that's, it's I, a skyline mini wiener. How about that? It's cute. I have a handful of people on my Facebook that I don't know, you know, and we don't really chat. Like, I maybe, like, message one of them or right, something. Right, there you go. And but, it's like, I just don't, I don't know. I'm like, I'll, I'll comment on some of your stuff. I'll like your memes or pictures or whatever, you know, but I don't feel like, I don't know. I just, I'm an asshole. Like, I have all these other people that I know that I'm talking to, and I don't have time to talk to somebody I don't know. And, you know, especially if you think you're going to get just a random dick pic out of it. I don't want a random dick pic. I don't want a random dick pic. Right. We don't want those. No. We, we, we want them. We'll make sure you know we want I them. I will rate your dick if right. you send it to me, and it's probably not going to be good. There needs to be a fucking site that's ratemydick.com. I bet they have it. I'm they pretty sure if you, if you Google out that it's there. And I think that, though, with the purpose for that would be, like, basically you're um, rating the dick. The dude's picture, his profile, all his social media information will be there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, basically when he catches on to the fact that his random unsolicited dick pics are there, he has to pay a fee to, like, the girl that he sent it to to um, get it removed from that site. You know, I just think a random... Or, like, to the girl I mean, and... I just think a ratemydickpic.com and then, you know, all the anonymous dick pics that get sent out there... You know, everybody's just like, was it Facebook when Zuckerberg started? It was to, like, you know, randomly rate how hot the chicks were at his college. That's literally what it was, okay? Oh, I had no idea that that's what that, it That's was. what it started as. It was pretty shady shit. So instead of that, how about ratemydickpic.com, where, and I'm sure it already exists, and if it doesn't, somebody just bought it. Um, if, right, like, I, I've done and, that before. And, like, you know, all the girls out there, and guys, because let's not be, like, you know, homophobic, Getting random dick pics they didn't want to see, you just post them up there. Totally anonymous. You don't have to be like, hey, and then, you know, there's a rating system like, you know, one to ten, four out of five stars, one out of five stars. And, you know, little comments, you know, you can rate the pubic hair like maintenance. Yeah, You'd be like, you know, oh, you know, zero out of five stars. There's a fucking herpy on the tip of that. I found, I don't know, like randomly, like I, it was a meme or something that was an actual, like, picture of like a paper that had that like grooming and then like color tone and then you know like it was like all these different categories for your dick pic guys right. i don't send dick pics but i've heard enough about dicks being received it's not a groom slight, your yeah. shit groom your shit before you send the dick pic for sure and choose your background absolutely i, I did get a yes. dick pic sent to me once <laughs> by a guy and I, I think we probably told this story i don't the, think we did but the important part is you know, choose your background because the background. I scrutinize that shit more than I do the dick pics sometimes. Because the background I was sent, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like a dirty toilet covered in fucking pubes and a no, dirty bathroom. No, because the shower had all his pubes in it from when he trimmed his pubes. Yeah, so nasty. again, he didn't, he didn't choose your pubes. background carefully. Gentlemen, we are trying to impress the ladies with our pictures of our penis, not make them go, huh, 
Well, that's just another Nick. Well, yeah, he's he's dirty and sloppy. Like, I want to go over there. Right, right. Because, dude, you know, y'all know it's really fucking easy to go out there and find porn. You can find all the naked women you want and find all the penises you want. If they want to see a penis, they will see a penis. It is not that hard to find those. It's not. They get them sent to them randomly. So if you're going to send an unsolicited dick pic, at least put some fucking work into it. Shit. Glue some googly eyes to that motherfucker. Get, that'll get a fucking laugh at least. More than just a, that's that, another dick, man. That, I don't want to see that. I would probably be more intrigued to message back at that point. For like, sure. Like, <laughs> some uh, googly maybe eyes like reciprocate face. with googly eyes on my vagina. <laughs> Put a sombrero on it. I don't know. Put a sombrero on it. Maybe, you know, like get a little like bit of black construction paper. Cut out a nice Make fucking tie. Make it a fancy dick pic. Unsolicited dick pic advice. If you're going to do it, at least make it fucking a, a conversation piece, not a, oh, hey, this is my dick. Be like, oh, hey. This is my dick. It's this, going in you th- later, this bitch. This is my no, personality. No, no. Sombreros and googly eyes. <laughs> That's what I think. Just remember that, guys. I, I don't know. I think girls would be more likely to at least respond back. Than I like, think so, too. They, like... Okay, he sent me a dick pic, but he might be funny. Maybe he's not trying to get laid, but he just wants me to laugh at his penis because he knows it does poor performance. I don't know. Or maybe maybe, that's us because we're weird. Or maybe he just has that much confidence. He's like, this is Senor Pepe. Senor Pepe really likes your pink taco. That's that's gonna be my Senor uh, Pepe has a little Mexican mustache and a sombrero. Site next week. Good idea. What? Creating a poll for our site. Would would you be more likely to uh, respond to a dick pic if it had? Googly eyes and a sombrero on it, or would you block that? Well, I think with the people that would probably listen to us, I'd be like, I'd be like, I, I, I wouldn't be able to resist. I'd be like, this guy's a genius. Like, all right, guy, what are you (laughs) doing with yourself? Like, what's going on here? I'm just thinking, even if you're not gonna talk to that guy to like screw him, I bet they'd be cool to talk to. Just in general, they're gonna have to have some. They're gonna have to have a sense of humor. Okay. So if you got a dick pic with a sombrero and googly eyes, would you end up friending that dude? Be like, oh, hey, man, how's it going? You're pretty funny. Probably. I'm going to lay it down there that I'm straight, but yeah, I would talk totally. Like, I'm not going to touch your penis, but please send more pics. My friends would enjoy this. <laughs> you know, I hope my friends are seeing these. <laughs> yeah, 100%. If you, if you are a homosexual male, bisexual male, or just some fucked up straight dude that wants to send me a dick pic like that, Please do, go ahead. Please do. It'll be funny. I will share it with these ladies right here. I assure you, we will rate it and it'll be great. This reminds me. So one Senior time, Pimpy. I had, so, okay, so you can Google puppetry of the penis and there's these two oh, guys man, that put on shit. shows that basically like they Aust- make the shit out of the Australian mix. guys. How have I never heard of this? Oh, You've never heard oh, of this? Oh God, scene? dude. Oh my God. We're going to fucking find Ron. We're going to find that shit later. So you, you, two, you Google that. So it's two Australian dudes standing on stage, playing with their peckers, like putting them into different like poses and shit. They're like, they're like, you know, sitting there. One of them's like, you know, grabs the head of his dick and like does this funky shit. And he's like, this is the cheeseburger. And this one is the turtle. So and they do all that, this different shit. I had the, the girl that I worked with at Integrity, the, the, the pants pooper. Again, puppetry of the penis, folks. Look it up. It's hilarious. So... This like girl 10, had a friend that was sending her dick pics like that. He was married. Like, it was just, it wasn't like, hey, I'm trying to send you dick pics. It was like, they were friends, and he was like, hey, man, look at this. He did this thing. I forget what he did with his dick and his nuts, but he twirled it around, and it looked like a cheeseburger, but he there was ketchup and mustard and a piece of cheese in there. <laughs> I guess he was like, he was in the bathroom, and he was like, he yelled out to his wife. He's like, hey, can you bring me a piece of cheese? I said, what are you doing? You're not in there taking pictures of your dick again, are you? <laughs> And like I like she showed me all these. She actually sent them to me, and I know I still have them on my phone because I pulled them out like six months ago tops. Um, but this guy, so he like he also so he took his <laughs> he took his nuts and he was like um, like he pulled them up around his penis and it looked like a hot dog and a hot dog bite. <laughs> ketchup and mustard on it. <laughs> oh, there was one like he put he put his like his put his dick around his ring finger and he called it the wedding band. <laughs> Okay, see, like, that's intriguing. <laughs> there was one, it was like, I think it was, I don't know, I can't remember if it was like the atomic blast or like the, like an alien, the alien brain or something, but he did something with his nuts and like, I, I don't know, I didn't wrap his dick around his nuts or something, like pushed it up. There was, what else did he do? Like, I mean, there was, I had probably like eight pictures of this guy. He fucking did shit. And he, uh, they all looked like it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> this shit was fucking great. Yeah, there's shit for that on uh, on YouTube and some other places. And apparently those guys released a book of how to make your dick into those different positions. I, I looked this up before. It's I, I Only if I could post the pictures of this dude's dick and balls. But for one, I don't have permission. And two, Facebook wouldn't let me. So I, just, I can't do that. Oh, but hell. Apparently there was... So apparently there was a 20th anniversary... Apparently there was a 20th anniversary edition in 2018, so it's at least that old now. Huh. I well, I remember that. April talking about it, and I hadn't talked to her in fucking years. Um, when I had uh, Googled it, it said puppetry, the penis injury, Las Vegas. So apparently <laughs> there was something bad that happened with the dick, dick thing in Las Vegas. That's so fucking great. Let's see, are there actual pictures on this thing? It's hard to find the pictures. You might even want to go to images. Nah, they all, it's all censored there, but... Uh, We'll find it. There's blogs and things. Puppy of the Pre... Apparently it's on YouTube. Or just the reaction. Eh, it's trailers. Whatever. Whatever. So... Yeah, say we're getting towards time. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, post some links to a trailer to it somewhere. The puppetry of the penis because... Well, that's what we're talking about this well, he's week. He's got the vagina there because it's all tucked in between and he's just standing there. They're looking at dicks and balls right now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got to pull down. This dude's doing something shit over here. Ariana looks scared, but oddly aroused, for the record, folks. There's the cheeseburger. That's the hamburger right there. <laughs> do, you want, do you guys want to eat that hamburger? You, you, you place the oh, testicles. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Like You do like this with your testicles. Step by step. And then, and then you roll your penis between the testicles. So you roll the penis like this. So you got a testicle, a testicle, and then you got the penis. Bun, bun. Hamburger, and then you, and then you do it. a ninety degree turn, and then wrong. <laughs> uh, are you wanting me to whip it out and do it like that right now? No, but you're if like you wrong. Did, I would not be offended or even. She's like wrong. Do you want me to do this right now? Out. And then you squeeze the testicles to hold like a hamburger. Like that's so fucking great. That's just that's so fucking hilarious. Ariana just gave oh. me a look like Ron. I'm waiting. It's like nah, nah. Oh, that's the hamburger again. What else do we got? See, the things that people can get famous for. Right. <laughs> Playing with their dicks on stage. Right? You know, yeah, I just picture it now. Like, so, what do I like doing? Playing with my dick. But then he doesn't like <laughs> masturbating. How can we make money on this? Uh, I'm just sitting there thinking, so the, 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 the conversation with your mom and dad about that. <laughs> well, what do you do for a living? Play with my dick? <laughs> so, here's the conversation. So, oh, hey, tower. so, hey, mom, dad, I'm getting famous. Good job. What are you doing on stage? Playing with my dick. That's so funny. What? What? Dude, that makes me wonder. Yeah, like what their family thinks of like, their you know, career. You, 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 the well, Apple Watch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You pull oh, the dick good. There's out. an Apple Watch one. You just pull the dick out and wrap it around the wrist, and then just boom, it's right there. You hold it down with your wrist. So, gentlemen, wow. look up before you send your next dick pic. Look up puppetry of the penis. Be We're creative. calling these guys gentlemen. Hey, gentlemen, because we all know gentlemen send unsolicited dick pics. The next time you whip out your dick. The next time you whip out your dick and you intend to send it to a lady, look up, an look up puppetry to the penis. Be creative. Do some penile, or, penile origami, please. Penile origami. And he's, got his, he's actually got his pants like down to his ankles. ankles. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that the thing I noticed? <laughs> Because it's like you could just pull them down your knees, like, but no, fuck it. Down or you could just take them off completely if that's what you're doing. <laughs> that's that's true. I mean, Look, like, it, it's a quick exhibition, okay? <laughs> just like <laughs> penis snuff puppets. I don't know what that is. I got to look up snuff puppets now, but there's a big old dick and a what? vagina there. They're huge. That's ugly. I know. It's, they're really hideous. And I don't know what's behind it, but I'm super intrigued. And there's a fucking audience there. There's people paid for that shit. I shits. feel like I want... There's I people pay paid for that. Them. I would pay for that. Yeah. Like, if that comes near us, we have to go now. It's not puppets. Well, I'm fucking clicking the link now. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so, there's an eye. That's Pinterest. There's a snuff puppet baby. Everybody pages. This is like so. Weird while Missy's looking at penises and vaginas, snuff uh, I, I was watching uh, Stephen snuff Colbert puppets, puppets. like the the like YouTube highlights or whatever his monologue. I don't know who the hell it was, but there was some chick that was uh, showing people around her house out in California, and she said she had a secret vagina room in her house. This is great. And she had like her dog or cat or something in her arms, 
open it up, and yeah, there was like a fucking like labia ball hanging there. She like crawled through to the secret tunnel in her house from one, one room to another. Oh, I'll fucking show you this shit later. It was awesome. And Colbert was sitting there just completely straight faced. They had a picture of it next to him, and he had like a little touch screen on his desk and just looked down at it and just lost his shit for a solid like, for, for a solid like 30 seconds. He just had to sit there just trying not to laugh. He's like, I saw the picture. Oh my God, I saw the picture. And when she like crawls through the thing to get to the secret room on the other side, she crawled out of the washing machine. That's really funny. That's not, that's not South Park game. But that was like a real, a real celebrity. I'll show it to you after we're done recording. But the thing great. with that, this is what I have to say about that. So some haunted houses I've been, they do it at the caves. So there's like these, the walls are filled with air. It's some tarp type thing, but it's, I don't, it's probably meant for that. It's really weird. It's like bounce house shit, but it's like super like, like where you have to walk through it. And yet and it's literally, I was like, I wonder if this is what a dick feels like when it's like pushing into a vagina <laughs> <laughs> or like a poop. Like, and that's exactly what you're talking about. Cause I fucking hate walking. I don't like them either. The, because the well, fucking, I, because like, you're trapped with the, people the, in the front of me and behind yeah. you. The compression rooms, the compression oh, wall, they does. call those. Yeah. yeah. They're compressions. Just everybody like stops when you get in them. So, um, uh, I'll probably post this on the Facebook, but uh, there's the clip right there. I was going to say that looked like totally like a weird ass yeah, fucking that vagina. Yeah, that on Facebook. Um, yes, yeah, so the, the episode is called, the clip on YouTube is called Meanwhile Every Home Should Have a Vagina Tunnel. Yes. Uh, right now we're waiting for my phone to fucking queue up and catch up. We'll get it in a minute. At any rate, I'll show them this after we're done because we are hitting time, ladies. There we go. We are at an hour and 15, 15 minutes. Today. Oh, yes. oh, you have something you learned? I yeah. thought you were just... Okay, well, so, real quick, what did we learn today, Ariana? Okay, so, guys, go downtown more and you'll get wider teeth. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you're going to send an unsolicited dick pic, you better turn it into art, not just a fucking random stupid dick pic. I didn't learn a goddamn thing, but I had fun today. Yay. <laughs> That's what's important. Yes. Hey, important shit right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, please visit our website, thestrugglingbuttplug.com. Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, wherever you find our podcasts are sold. Um, we got to get this podcast game in order. The podcast game isn't too good right now. I'm going to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been busy. Um, like, subscribe, share. If you have any beers you'd like us to review, please let us know. If you have anything you'd like us to talk about, please let us know. Is there anything I've missed? Mm. Send Ron some dick pics on Facebook. He wants them. Send Ariana and Missy some dick pics, but only only if they're creative. Oh yeah, only if they're creative. Random stupid yeah. dick pics. I don't want your stupid. Language. Only if they're creative. Like every other we need Missy some like Mr. Right. Pepe Mexican ones. There's some like fucking puppy tree, the penis cheeseburger shit. There you go. And we I'll, will troll it. Right, hell yeah. And just know that we will judge you. I will definitely look or at it. Or you could just send it to the strobing butt plug. Message. That's right. I send mean, it to the Strowman Butt Plug. Don't send it to me personally. I don't what's the Strowman Butt Plug email address? No, no. Just send it to our page on Facebook. Oh, our Facebook. Well, we have, we'll figure it out. We send have a message. message. Yeah, you have messages. Private on Facebook. message the Strowman Butt Plug Facebook. You can don't just on, you can private message our Instagram. Just don't put it on the wall because you know Facebook cock blocking because you're cock. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. TheStrobingButtPlug.com Mr. Spurious <laughs> Ariana's not joining, she's just nothing. laughing. Nothing. See you next week, ladies. See ya.